Hello! Hi everybody! Getting set up here. Um, okay. Getting my other window open so I can see the chat. First thing I say every time. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. Wow, this has been the most like rushed morning before I've done this ever because it was like 8.57 and I'm like, I have a minute to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and like I didn't even get a chance to do my hair or anything. So, I mean, I put it in a bun, but it was kind of in a bun like, you know, right after I got out of bed, like, Psh! and so this is just a variation of that. Um, but yay. Okay. Um, how is everybody doing? How was everyone's past week? Got coffee. This will be my first sip of coffee of the morning. I'm still a little groggy. It's the Waffle House mug. Mm. Yeah, it was one of those days where I spent way too much time doing my makeup, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, what about that? <laughs> so. What? Um... Oh, thank you. I just painted a stripe. I got a lot of questions about these nails at IMATS, and I'm like, I'm not a makeup art person, but this was really easy. Just give them a stripe, right? And it kind of looks cool from far away because it just looks like they're catching the light, like maybe they're just one color, but then you put them up close, you're like, oh, that's what they did. <laughs> Good morning, all of y'all. <laughs> oh, Nat saw me at IMATS. IMATS. Uh, you guys knew I was going to talk about that today, right? <laughs> because I know there were some people who I ran into at IMATS who watch Beauty Broadcasts Live who knew about the chipmunk. And uh, it was funny because I think there's a video clip where, like, Tyler has me and, and um, a lovely lady doing the chipmunk together. And then there's some people who are, like, off to the side like the camera goes this way and you see some people kind of watching like what's going on there and then there's some people who are like yeah chipmunk <laughs> so it's like it's one of those things you get it or you don't and if you do get it chances are you've been watching this so waffles are from Belgium Belgian waffles ah uh, dreams do sparkle is not feeling well yeah, so I've got a, oh, Rebecca says she's impressed that I did not go IMATS crazy. <laughs> yeah, um, I posted my haul already. Um, I don't know if you've seen that, but I just, um, I mean, majority of my time at IMATS, I was getting to meet people and just walk around and, you know, socialize. <laughs> so I didn't shop a whole lot, but I mean, a lot of people compared to the haul I had were walking around with bags that were like loading them down, you know, like put it, put it in a backpack kind of thing. And so, um, yeah, I did behave myself rather well. <laughs> um, and so today I'm going to post the vlog. So that's kind of like, we didn't do a whole lot of just like carrying the camera around New York, but I vlogged both mornings before we went to IMATS, and then Tyler Tyler took the reins at IMATS. He just had the camera and shot whatever was interesting to him, I guess. <laughs> so we'll see. I've edited it most of the way together. Um, last night we shot a little kind of um, just thank you at the end, and it was just... Um, it, w it was so awesome. It, I met more people than I th thought I could ever meet. I mean, you know, like, when you see numbers on videos, you know people are watching, but there's just something about, and, and it, this is the strange thing, you know, with do doing what you do, and primarily, like, the audience you have is online. It's like, you know people are there, but there's something about seeing the people in person you know what I mean it's so amazing so um, I just love getting to chit chat with you I so am going to set up some scenarios or some meetups where you know we can actually be be able to you know have some meetups that are more casual you know not so quick 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 where I can chat because 
I felt like when I started talking to you guys, like I wanted it to to keep on going. So it was really, really fun. So yeah, yay for Tyler. He he got the tickets. He did the whole birthday surprise, and, and then I had something to look forward to since uh, since December twenty seventh. So yeah, come to Texas. I have a sister in law in Texas. So we we actually I was just texting with her last week and she was telling me about all the awesome like country country dance clubs and everything and I'm like I've never been to anything like that I want to go. So yeah, Texas would be awesome. I know St. Louis um first for sure. That's the thing we're working on planning right now is a St. Louis meetup because um I, met, I ran into um, an, one of the viewers who is from St. Louis in the airport, and she was like, I will help you <laughs> set this up. And so, like, okay. Yay, Jenna. Um, so are you off of work or are you skipping work? <laughs> FYI, the comments kind of, I don't know if it does the same thing for everyone else. Sometimes they're streaming through really quickly, and sometimes they kind of like stop for a second and then brrr, start going again. All of y'all, that was the hashtag of last week. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's my first time watching. Can you do the chipmunk? Well, absolutely. We can do the chipmunk. As long as everybody else is doing it with me. Get the paws up. Point the fingers down. That is the chipmunk. <laughs> and then, if you're chipmunking and you're burrowing, like that, or, wait, do chipmunks burrow? Or am I thinking like they're eating a nut? Maybe that's what I meant to say that they were doing. And then, if you're at work, you can be very sly about this. And you go... Very subtle. Very small. <laughs> that's what that's what all of y'all who are at work can do. Awesome. Yay. Yay for all the international viewers. Woohoo! That's awesome. So yeah, makeup look of the day. Should we shall we talk about that? That's always something I try to basket up and talk about for the beauty broadcast live. Um, I'm wearing on my face one of my biggest disappointments as of late, and it is the Too Faced Air Buffed BB Cream. I know the comments are gonna kinda stall on me here. It's okay to look, if you look like kinda like a vampire when you do the chipmunk, you're probably doing it right. <laughs> um, but anyways, this is the Air Buffed BB Cream, and I just can't, it says it's complete coverage, not even close. I don't get it. I got this for Valentine's Day with the palette that I I do love, the boudoir eyes. But um, it seems like it be it would be full coverage because it's very creamy, but it's also very like solid. So you only get a certain amount of um, I guess thickness with the product. So I'm just kind of not feeling it. I've used it several times, given it a lot of tries. Um, the coverage, if you see any amount of decent coverage on my face, it's coming from concealers and powders. <laughs> um, but this also comes with a little brush. Like, the packaging is adorable, don't get me wrong. And it looks like you have a lipstick on top, but it's a teeny tiny brush. Yes, my friends, this is the brush you're supposed to be able to buff this in with. It's tiny. Okay, I'm reading what some of you are saying. I didn't have very high hopes for that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, call on solid products a BB cream. So anyway, um, if you are getting this thinking, I want a full coverage product, this is not, not, not full coverage. Um, even just like light freckles on the skin, um, they definitely will show through with this. So this is, this is not a big, big coverage thing. Um, in fact, I think Rimmel's, just regular BB cream and kind of a squeezy tube, you know, I think that uh, actually has better coverage than this one does. But, you you know, maybe my own fault for buying something that says BB cream 
I mean, even claim to have good coverage and expecting coverage out of it. So I am wearing um, this Revlon Color Stay Concealer. This was a new thing. Couldn't quite believe I hadn't tried this yet. Um, but this is just the liquid concealer with the wand, and it's it's decent, decent coverage. Not not amazing. I have it in the shade. I have it in the really light. I have it in light. And so it was brightening, you know. And then I got my good coverage from this. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Finish. Checking in on the comments. And it looks like this. And this is a wet-dry thing. It has a sponge. Um, and you can apply it wet or you can apply it dry. Just use it dry. Um, just kind of over most of my face except the under eye area where I set the other concealer with Well Rested from Bare Minerals. Um, I used my Sun Club Bronzer from Essence. This is loved product. I just like it. It's so big, so when I do like a little bit of bronzer down in here, and I realize I've, I've put out my special lighting today, so um, it it washing me out a little bit. Like when I look in the mirror, I look a lot deeper for some reason. But um, this is so much product in here, so I feel very comfortable like going into this and going all over. Whereas my Revlon Photo Ready, there's not as much product in there, so I'm like, I'll just leave that for the face, you know, not put it all over my freaking body. Um, this, I'm wearing my the Balm In Stain Blush, and this is the shade called Houndstooth. And this one's a little more neutral than most. They're really bright. Um, I need to do a video on these. I feel like people are going to be frustrated because the Balm already had their big old sale, didn't they? So, um, but I just didn't, I hadn't had a chance to use these really prior to that. But this is kind of like a dusty rose colored blush. And I have that on. And these are interesting because they're powders, but they're calling them a stain. And I have to say I kind of agree with that because when you swatch them, let's see if this shows. Okay, I just swatched it. There's a little, little bit of powdery finish there. And then when you rub over it, this is powder. What? It's still there. So that's cool. Like it, it really does like stain. It does last very well. So um, there's this color. There's a bunch of like brighter colors. So those are really exciting. Um, oops, comments are popping. Um, on the eyes, I'm wearing my Wet and Wild Comfort Zone palette. Woohoo! Who loves this palette? Yay! I'm wearing this. Um, oops doesn't quite want to stay open. I'm wearing this brownie side here. I thought this shade, like when I knew I was wearing this top, I thought this color really made me think of it. And I love this brown, like rediscovered. I mean, this is gorgeous. And I used that brown shade, that lightish brown, to kind of blend everything out there. But let me swatch. Just these two colors alone. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, yeah. <laughs> How will it show up best? Um, this one, you know, that kind of pinky one's kind of metallic. Beautiful, kind of like deep gold slash light brown. It's, this is such a great palette. I mean, my goodness. Five bucks. Come on. Got to wipe off some of that. Um... Uh, yeah, I used my Ultra Fine Liquid Liner from Milani. Used this throughout the IMATS experience, and it uh, goes nowhere. Does not smudge. Uh, you get a little bit watery eyes. You get teary. Goes nowhere. Ultra Fine. And I like black vinyl over the black gems because black vinyl is just plain old black, right? So, got that. Um... On my lips, I'm wearing Too Faced Nude Beach. This is a favorite. Anyone remember this from the Emily Awards? Just kind of making sure everything's still running here. <laughs> um, but just really nice nude, but not too nude, right? And then over the top of that, I have um, this NYX Mega Shine Gloss in Crystal Soda, recent purchase. 
very pretty, reflective kind of. So that's basically the look. Um, I'm wearing my Lash Discovery. I'm wearing L'Oreal Telescopic on the lashes. And then, of course, had to pop on some false eyelashes just because I felt the need. And it, they are the Ardell Demi Wispies. So we put it all away now. Oh, also, um, one of the things I got from iMats, I've been using every day since I've been back, and I've actually been pretty impressed with this. I've got to say, the Model in a Bottle Makeup Setting Spray Matte Finish. Um, I feel like I've put it on, and I've looked at my makeup as the day has gone on, and even yesterday, um, I was out like grocery shopping and out and about a little bit, and... Um, <clears throat> It was rather humid here, kind of rainy even, and I was out in that, and I felt like this this held up. I'm going to keep using it, though, because it's, it's tough, because you're using it with different foundations, so you have to kind of, like, use it with, if, you're, if you ever want to test out a setting spray, I mean, the way I do it is I'll wear it with a certain foundation, and then another day I will wear that same foundation, but without the setting spray and see what happens but you know it takes time to figure it out but I do feel like the days I've worn it things have worked out so yeah m your husband is so tall compared to you ain't that the truth I mean talk about most like frequently said thing to me I'm asked you're so short it's like people don't believe me <laughs> everybody says I thought you'd be like six feet tall or five foot eight or something like that and then they see me and they're like I didn't even know for sure if it was you because I was expecting somebody taller nope <laughs> I hope I wasn't I, I mean it's just funny because Tyler is is drastically taller than me it's not just like he's real tall or I'm real short it's both he is six six I am five zero so do a draw my life video I was talking about that with somebody I should try that. Um, this top. I think this came from Forever 21 or maybe Wet Seal. No, neither. It came from Macy's. <laughs> I can't remember. I Yeah, I'm five feet tall. So, Am I happy? Louisville won. Well, I had him on my bracket to win, but when it was getting right down to it, I wanted Wichita State to go all the way because they would be like, you know, totally making a huge upset if they won. And they're in the same conference that SIU is in. So I kind of wanted to see a team of that, you know, level go all the way. Illinois. I am in Southern Illinois. So that's why it was it was so incredible, you know, at IMATS because I don't I don't just I don't live in New York. I don't live in LA, you know? And so when I go to IMATS it's like my first experience being <laughs> surrounded by, you know, makeup loving people. And so it was great. Leah, very cute. Um, hi. Have you tried the It Cosmetics CC Cream? No, I have not. Oh, shoot. I was just reading something, and then it went all the way. I bought MAC's Pink Lemonade Lip Gloss because of your recommendation. It's awesome. My first MAC lip gloss. Awesome! Yay! That's a great one. It's so pretty, um, and it's pretty layered on top of stuff, too. If you've got any lipsticks that are like pinks and corals... Um, they look beautiful on with that lip gloss. So, have you ever counted your lipsticks? No. Would you like me to start right now? <laughs> It'll be the most boring beauty broadcast live ever. <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, just counted lipsticks. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I, I probably should take inventory because it would probably, you know, make me not buy any more lipstick for a long time. Was Tiffany D there? Um, no. Uh, unless I missed her. Um, but I, I mean, I did not run into her. So, Frozen, hold on.
Yay! Oop. And once again, I start reading something and it all goops going. The Pro Finish Powder. Um, nice coverage. Um, it remind. What does this remind me of when I touch it? It kind of reminds me of L'Oreal True Match Powder. Really. But it does have good coverage, and when you use it dry, like you can really build up the coverage. But I was just intrigued because of the, you know, the claims of like wet slash dry, and I thought that sounded cool. I haven't used it wet yet, but so far so good with this one. Um, I just don't know that it's something like that I'm going to feel the need to repurchase because I feel like a lot of powders might be similar to this. Milani Multitasker is like a very um, a very full coverage powder as well. So, okay, I'm going to try to see what some questions are here. Oh, showed your proposal video M's World to my boyfriend. He loved it. Yay! Thank you, Sophia. <laughs> Would you ever cut your hair short? I did have really short hair. Um, when was it? I had, like, throughout most of junior high, I had a short little bob. And then um, early on in high school, I had it, like, really short. Like, up here, kind of like, it was almost, like, stacked up a little bit on the back. And, um, I mean... I, I didn't dislike it. I mean, I love, I'll see other short people with short hair and be like, oh, I love that, you know? But for me, I mean, I just, I, I kind of like the ability to uh, switch it up a lot, you know, switch up the hairdo very often, put it up, you know, so... Uh, which other YouTubers did you meet at IMATS? Um, gosh, well, I got to spend a lot of time with Nur. Shout out to Nur. Shout out to Leanne Says. Nur is from Nurber XO. Um, also, uh, Jill Striff and the girls from 11th Gorgeous. We went out, um, went out to dinner and then we met up we met up with Tracy and Stephanie at we tried to go to this chocolate place what's the big chocolate place called in New York where like everything's chocolate and chocolate drinks and all that and we tried to go in there but it was like they would you couldn't sit down until like midnight like the place was hopping and so then we went on to a different place where it was like a crazy like lounge it was like a coffee shop but the music was like bumping and it, it was we were like laughing about that and there's, there's like a DJ in there and we're all sitting around like this is kind of different um, but that was really fun and Jill Striff did a whole vlog on that evening so if you didn't see that that's there but um, those were other YouTubers that I met and got to chat with. I got to meet Julie G. Oh my gosh. Uh, Max Brenner, right. Rebecca's got it. <laughs> um, but it was unreal. Unreal experience. And so many people like that I've watched and that I know I've tweeted with, you know, and then you see them in person and you're like, oh, it's you, <laughs> you know. So it was just really, really cool. Um, and I've got it. I've got like all this in my in my vlog, so it'll be happening later today for sure. Do you have any Zoya matte velvet nail polish? I just painted my nails with posh and love it. Oh, I no, I think I have one Zoya nail polish that came in some kind of a beauty grab bag test tube sort of kit, um, not in the test tube, it came with something else, and I haven't yet used it. It's kind of a different shade, you know, that I really wasn't too sure about, <laughs> but I would love London. That would be great. Hi, Laura! Will you go to New York slash IMATS again? Definitely. Definitely. Um, first off, love New York, and that was my, um, that was my third time being there. So I knew I would be excited 
excited to go there. It was Tyler's first time in New York, so he was really excited to be there too. And can I just say, like, all the people who came up and said hi to us or something, it's like, Everybody knew knew who Tyler was, you know, like, oh, hi, Tyler. Thanks, Tyler. You know, like, <laughs> it just kills me. Like, thank you so much. Everybody treated us just like we were members of your family or something. Like, it was unbelievable. <coughs> Come to Canada. Where is Canada IMATS? Where do they have that? Is that Toronto? Because Canada's real big. <laughs> Um, these earrings are from Claire's, I believe. They're really big, and honestly, they were more gold a long time ago, and now they're kind of a really, like, soft, sort of faded gold. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. Yeah, Tyler's a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, IMATS Texas. Where we we're talking about other cities that should have an IMATS. Um, Nashville, the South. Why does the South not have an IMATS? You know, is that an EOS holder? <laughs> this is okay. These are my Mad Men boxes. Yeah, this is my. Just a little dish, little plastic dish filled with my lip balms. And it looks kind of like ice cream back there, does it not? <laughs> uh, Toronto and Vancouver. There's two in Canada? Wow. Hi, Switzerland! Glow stick paradise! What, what? <laughs> uh, yes, Smashbox Mega Palette. Dude, I wish... I wish that was still available. Like, because I don't feel like, I feel funny about recommending things that I know are not out there anymore. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like unfair, you know, to continue to rave about stuff if I know it's not being sold any longer. But that Smashbox Mega Palette is, I mean, pretty much unmatched in terms of a palette that has so many different things in it and such great quality things. And I know Smashbox has come out with like smaller ones, but nothing's been like the mega palette that's been on QVC. Um, and that was a year ago and around Christmas time. I remember, I think I got it maybe just a little bit before Christmas and I was like, can I open it please? <laughs> Uh, can you do a video with just cupcake? Okay, Nikki Licious. Nikki Licious. Um, so like, no other people in the video. Like, just cupcake. Am I allowed to talk to her? Try to prompt her to do things, or <laughs> because I know, I know she comes off as quite the diva. And, you know, just quite the amazing little cat. But to be honest, she doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> Atlanta IMAX, that could be cool. Approximately how many nail polishes do you have? Um, not as many as a lot of people that I see. When people like show collections and stuff and they show all their nail polishes. Um, I don't know, but I still have a lot. Um, probably mm, four, four dozen, maybe. Three to four dozen, I would say. Simple prom makeup look using drugstore products. I've been thinking about this prom thing because other people have brought it up to me. Um, and I'm wondering, like, there's so many, you know, like, colorful dresses, right? And there's so many different directions you could go. And so I wonder, like, if I just put out a prom look, like, how many people will it apply to? Or should I just, and, and if we're just talking, well, just give me, you know, if you're saying just give me a regular um, smoky eye, my go-to smoky eye video is it. You know, like, that's my favorite way to do it. Or do you want something like neutral brownish like this? 
or I mean, this is this is kind of my standard like eyeshadow template. You know what I mean? Do you ever have those looks where you're like, this is the way my eyeshadow looks best on me, so this is the way I like to do it most often. That's like the way this look is for the way this look is for me. <laughs> I almost bit my tongue off there. <laughs> Oh, the fast diet. Yeah. Oh, dudes, I put, I'm, I'm putting my two days, my days that I'm normally um, doing the fast diet. And real quick recap for any first timers out there. Um, it's, uh, you've got all your days out of the week, right? Seven days. And you pick two of those days to do, if you're a female, 500 calorie days two 500 calorie days out of that week and the rest of the week supposedly you eat what you want and normally I go uh, <laughs> I go um, Monday and Thursday with those days but this week I decided I would see what would happen if I put both of the days together so I did it yesterday and I'm doing it today so if I let's say did beauty broadcast live tonight instead of this morning I would probably be like pretty crabby <laughs> you know it's like I've said it before but I'm sorry for what I said when I was hungry you know <laughs> but yeah and I'm I'm usually fine in the morning um, but then, and, and my dinner, you know, I feel real good after eating dinner because it's like a lean piece of protein and then a salad is what I do for my dinner. Um, but when you're sitting there watching TV and it's about 7, 8 o'clock at night and you're sitting there feeling like, gosh, I would like to munch on something right now. So... Yeah. Um, eyeshadow I'm wearing right now is this palette. This is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone. And I'm wearing um, this side pretty much. I did this in the inner corner. I did this on the, most of the lid. I did this darkest one in the outer corner. And then I blended this area right here, right above the crease, with this. This little shade right here is a real rock star. Really non-brassy, kind of dark gold slash light brown. Really pretty. The olive shades are great as well, and I think I have a tutorial somewhere along the line where I use the greens. But the browns in that palette are really nice. And sometimes I just, um, yeah, I don't like talking about the diet too much because somebody will say, that's not healthy or that's not right. But, I mean, there's it's been very studied and there's a lot of research behind it so um, I'll just say check out the Google search the fast diet and then you'll <laughs> probably get much more information than I could ever provide but when I think about using this palette I always think of it as a green palette you know like I just think if I'm gonna do greens like this is one that comes to mind but, but really it, just these shades alone are really nice neutrals so Thank you. Test. Wacko, it's working. <laughs> oh, they, the days aren't supposed to be consecutive, Kim? Yeah, well, then I'm going to be putting myself up against quite a challenge today. I'll probably switch it back to my original days after this week because I'll probably go crazy this evening. Um, yeah, I mean, I've noticed a difference. I feel like my clothes fit differently. Um, I mean, I, do, I just feel like if you're, if you're cutting calories that much on a couple of days and at the same time you're not going like crazy on the other days, I think you're going to definitely lose some weight. But I'm not really looking to drastically lose weight I just kind of want to see if this works my mom was just and I were just talking about it one day I'm like I want to try it you know just see what happens right so uh, the wet <clears throat> whoa <laughs> have you guys ever had a bubble in your throat and your talking gets really awkward no luck finding the new wet and wild palettes favorite guilty pleasure foods oh my gosh fun topic Fun topic. Um, 
nachos or mozzarella sticks. Bar food, you know? Like, the kind of food you get in a bar. Give me some wings. Give me some, yeah, give me some nachos, mozzarella sticks, um, any kind of thing where I'm dipping in some sort of cheese sauce, like a queso chilies, kind of queso dip, that guacamole with the corn in it. Um, gosh, goodness gracious. Um, there's so much. Hi, Tristan! <laughs> Three years old. Um, but... Yeah, there are, I like I like snacky junky foods like that a lot. Yes, Francine. Um I showed this in my vlog, but this is the or in my haul. But this is the Gosh Light and Shine lip glaze. And it lights up. Mm. Yeah, it does smell nice. And plus you have a light. Whoa! Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Set this aside because the comments are going crazy. Favorite ice cream flavor? Um, mm, I love anything mint. I like the peppermint flavors. I like the, you know, the light green with the mint chocolate chip and stuff like that. So good. And, um... Also, when we were in New York, like, we didn't, I didn't go crazy eating, <laughs> I didn't feel like, but one night we went to John's Pizzeria and got a pizza, of course, and we also got the mozzarella sticks. I think they may have been called sticks, but they came out like a freaking filet of mozzarella, like a triangle shaped this big of mozzarella. And I was like, oh, <laughs> this is so delicious. Um... Oh, I also like, like, Chinese, the kind of Chinese food that you get at, like, a Chinese buffet. Good stuff. Um, yeah, I'm happy to do the live stream. Hi, Dallas. What's up, Dallas? Um, tips would you give to smaller YouTubers now? Um, well... There are, and I, I was talking to Tyler about this the other day, there are so many incredible people on YouTube, and I really don't think you should gauge how good you are, how good your videos are, or how talented you are by the amount of people who are watching, because there are so many people who just, you know, maybe just recently started, don't have a ton of videos yet, or, you know, haven't been, just, you know, haven't quite gotten discovered out there, but there are so many really, really wonderful people who, you know, just may not have a lot of subscribers yet, and it's just really tough right now because there are so many people making videos. Am I right? There are like a zillion people making YouTube videos right now, and so it's harder now um, to, you know, kind of get yourself out there when there's so many other people doing the same exact thing. When I started making videos, it was like, like late 2007, and there weren't as many people, for example, at that time talking about drugstore makeup. So that's the direction I went. Now I think you've got to be really, really, um, like looking for the things that aren't on YouTube, which is harder um, but look for like the beauty related topics that you're not seeing enough of right now. If there's something, it's like, gosh, I've been wanting to see a video on this, but not many people have done it, you be the one to do it, you know, because then you're going to be searchable and you're not going to come down on the bottom of a search list, but you're, you know, you've got to come up with like really unique ideas that haven't been done before. And the fact of the matter is it's getting harder and harder to find those kinds of things that haven't been done. But don't think that you um, don't think that you're not like as good as somebody with like two million subscribers because fact of the matter is maybe you just haven't been found yet you know but you may be every bit as 
awesome as anybody else out there. And so just keep that in your head. And if you enjoy making the videos, make the videos because you like making videos. Because, I mean, it, it, I, <laughs> that's, that's in my experience what worked for me. Because what kept me making, you know, a few videos a week ever since way back when was because I enjoyed the process. I liked sharing with people. I liked, you know, feeling like maybe I was helping somebody and things like that. So make them because you like it and don't ever get stuck in this thing where you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, living and dying by the numbers of my YouTube channel because it's going to stop being fun then. I, I mean, it just, that's just the way it is. And you need to, I, I really think that if you're truly enjoying it, I do think it's going to, it's going to come through. Um, but you, you've got to consistently keep making them, keep making the videos. Um, I've had a lot of people say, can you check out my channel? And, you know, why, how can I get more subscribers or whatever? And they maybe just have like, let's say they have a, uh, 20 videos and 1,500 subscribers. I'm like, man, you are doing awesome. How many videos did I have to put up before I got to a thousand subscribers? You know, it was a lot. <laughs> so could be consistent, keep making them, come up with unique ideas, spread the word about it onto social networking. I think what's going to give you the best luck of being found now, though, is to come up with ideas you haven't seen already done a zillion times. So if you've got like a great, if you're thinking, man, I'd like to see a tutorial on this celebrity and I've never seen anyone do it, do it. <laughs> so um, it, I heart coffee and makeup says it's very hard to get yourself out there without being super annoying and leaving a billion comments in other people's videos. Uh, true. I mean, it's like, what, what do you do? And I think, I think it, the biggest thing that'll help you is being searchable. T also title your videos in a very uncomplicated way. Um, and title your videos in a way that someone who, um, and I haven't always been good about this, but I feel like I've made a point to do it lately like in the past couple of years, title your videos so someone, even if they're not into makeup, would know basically what you're talking about. Um, if it is a, uh, what's an example here? If it's a massive haul, at least put the word makeup in there, you know? <laughs> massive makeup and hair haul or massive drugstore makeup haul. Make sure you're titling your videos so they make sense to people. Some people may not even know what a haul is, so, you know, whatever. But, you know, you got to put it out there so it's very easy. And if you're reviewing, you know, one product, something I found is like, um, if you're just reviewing one product and you can make that product the title of your video, um, Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette Review, um, and somebody's Googling the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette, you know, you're going to give it a basic name. The more descriptive it can be, okay, the review is about this product, title it this product. You know what I mean? Don't just say, um, uh, the best eyeshadow palette ever or something like that. Give it something specific so if people are looking for this, they're going to find this. I don't know if I'm making sense with that. Um, but just try to be very um, specific and not too cutesy with the titles because the more descriptive it can be, the easier you'll be found. If you're trying to just be found by people searching and stuff like that. Um, editing programs, I use iMovie. Yeah, and that's a program that's on Mac computers. I'm not real familiar with um, editing programs on other things like PCs. Um, the blog Dollars and Roses has great info, practical info on how they're making it on blogging. Yes, and they interviewed me. There, there's a local couple that lives near where I live, and they are kind of, it's a husband and wife. They both blog. Um, there's a very, the husband has a very successful 
financial blog and then his wife Mandy has like sort of um, kind of like a mommy blog type thing and they actually created a third thing where they describe exactly how they're making money like they put it all out there like everything they earn and you know what things are working for them in terms of um, you know what what ads what kinds of strategies are helping them actually make money with their blog uh, or with you know videos and things like that so it's um, dollars and roses dot com because their their last name is Rose yeah House of Rose great blog is Mandy's blog but I mean that's a very informative way to you know look at this whole thing and there aren't a lot of people who are really laying out these are all the different ways you know we're advertising or we're you know getting the word out we're doing this and that and every strategy is there some things work some things don't so it's very interesting so I feel like I've talked forever on this topic <laughs> and people who probably have no interest in having a YouTube channel are like can you stop <laughs> but um, I hope that was somewhat informative Snow day for Laura in Canada. Oh my gosh, aren't snow days the best? I loved having snow days in school. I mean, it was like you're anticipating, you know, is our school going to be out? And then you find out it is, and it's like, snow day! <laughs> it's just the, the thrill of a snow day is even better than like the three day weekends you know you're going to have, like Columbus Day or whatever. You know, it's like snow days, it's the anticipation. Oh yeah, Kelsey, it's your first time watching. Any other first timers? Any other first timers? Uh yeah, IMATS was awesome. Did you meet any funny YouTubers? They're all pretty funny. You gotta be a little bit crazy. <laughs> but I met um Jill Striff makes hilarious videos, and so I met her and that was great. Went to dinner with her and several others, so it was awesome. Jesse Fleming, first timer. Yay, Jesse! Chicago meetup, yes. Totally. What are your plans for the future in makeup? Well, I want to keep doing videos, keep doing blogs. Um, it's been cool to get to do um, some guest blogging for um, the Ladies Home Journal website and hopefully get you know some things maybe featured in the magazine which would be great um, and I would like to take this I'm not sure where it's gonna go but I think it would be very cool if this live thing became more frequent or just I'm not sure. Like, I think because this is really fun, and I, I'm not sure what or exactly how, but I want to expand this, and I also want to um, do some sort of an ebook. So, very excited for that. And it's not going to be just like, you know, a book makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, you know, but it'll be maybe some other kinds of topics like the things that I talk about on my vlog channel and stuff like that so yay all the first timers we haven't done a lot of dancing yet today maybe that's because my coffee is only half gone right now <laughs> ah good oh Two robins are chasing each other. Hmm. Do you ever think you will stop newscasting and do something else? Perhaps something to do with makeup and beauty? I've actually stopped newscasting. <laughs> um, in December, early December, um, I stepped away from the news and went full time into what I'm doing now. And I have really never been happier. Like, this is really, really cool to get to spend all my time doing exactly what I want to be doing. So, it's been great. Someone said they're at work listening to me in the background. <laughs> Yay! 
Yeah, I mean, I kind of thought it would be cool, and I think I mentioned this the last time I did the the live thing, but like taking news headlines and relaying like the the coolest, like kind of funny news stuff while doing my makeup live, and it'd be like live makeup newscast. <laughs> Is this crazy? Would this be fun? Because I felt like, kind of like when I do my Get Ready With Me videos, I feel like I'm talking about current events sometimes, and it's kind of, like, fun. It would be kind of like people could open up their laptop while they're getting ready and listen to it, too, as they're, you know, doing their makeup. I don't know. I'm slight, I have, I have a zillion thoughts going through my head at all times, so I feel like I, it's maybe a little bit crazy. Um... Cameras to do what camera do I do my videos with? Um, not this camera. This is my this is a webcam. Um, but the camera I use for videos is a Canon Vixia HF S two hundred, and it's got a flip around screen. And I can actually probably show that to you here. It looks like this. So we when we went to New York, we took a smaller camera. I have a little Samsung as well that shoots in HD. It was much cheaper than this. does a great job as well. Um, but this one I've had for um, two years now has caused me, knock on wood, no problems. <laughs> and it's got the little flip around, and it's, it's a touch screen. So when you're doing it, let's turn it on here. I don't think I have a memory card in it. But you have, oop, uh-oh, <laughs> never done this before, okay, yes, I know, okay, um, but this is a really good sized screen, if you're sitting here and you're doing a tutorial and you're trying to see yourself here in the screen it's very easy and then um, you've got zoom capabilities as well this can do pictures as well um, it's got space for two memory cards in it which I don't have any in there right now um, you can open up there's a little button here where you can press and if I had a memory card it would pop it up with all the video clips that are on the memory card and you can just press them and easily like delete what you want gone from there it's really nice um, I've had great great luck with this camera so it's it's Canon and it's kind of expensive but it's really been been working great for me so Live makeup newscast. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I'm not crazy. Thank you for telling me. I'm not sure it flew by really fast. Cool. What did you do last weekend? I went to IMATS. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, this is the IMATS dance. And my feet hurt so bad. Oh, I go out of my way, I get flat boots you know so I can wear them up on top of my jeggings and <laughs> and my feet hurt like heck at the end of the day and because I have a bunion and I'm, I make this declaration in my in my video <laughs> in my blog um, any sized memory card um, asked Sophia um, I usually use a, I have a 16 gig usually that goes in there, um, and I, it's not often that I put two cards in at the same time, so I'm not sure if they would say there's a limit on that or not. I would assume maybe no limit, um, but I, I usually shoot on a 16 gigabyte memory card on there. Ooh, BB Book Tour, that'd be fun. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite non-makeup thing to learn about like cooking or ancient cultures for example 
this question is coming to us from Glow Stick Paradise. <laughs> um, okay, favorite non makeup related thing to learn about? Hmm. I would uh, cooking is way up there because I feel like it's the kind of thing I can do, you know, at any point in time. Like it's very practical, applicable to everyday life. Um, I also like learning kind of, I guess you might say like psychology related stuff. Like I like reading books that talk about, um, sort of like people's, certain people's assessment of, um, you know, things like confidence or things like self-improvement and stuff like that. Like I like to, um, sort of understand those different uh, philosophies of of how people are and I'm not sure if I'm saying what I'm meaning to be saying here but I like I like learning about other people I like reading um, autobiography type books um, real life stuff and what can you learn from this or that person also I meant to read you what came off of my calendar this was yesterday's calendar I have the don't sweat the small stuff calendar and Yesterday's thing says, um, and it, it kind of goes in waves of the different topics that it covers, um, but this it's talking right now about being late. And it says, truthfully, a vast majority of the time, being late is preventable. But instead of planning ahead, allowing a little extra time, or making allowances for unexpected problems, we wait just a little too long or don't allow quite enough time so we end up late. I don't like being late, so I totally agree with this. I I hate being late. Um, I don't like to keep people waiting. I don't like showing up and being the last one there. Like <laughs> the concept of being fashionably late, like it annoys me. Um, and so I do agree. Truthfully, the vast majority of the time, being late is preventable. Yes, it is. If you're if you're chronically late. And I'm not trying to, if you're always late, I'm sorry. But if you're always late and you, you know it, like, would you, would you not at some point, like, tell yourself, I'm going to start waking up earlier. Or I'm going to start, I need to allow myself more time to do this or that. Because sometimes it does sneak up on you and something happens and, you know, you just, it's out of your control. But if a lot of times, you know, it probably is in your control. So, and it always got to me if I would um, go out on stories for the news, and you would have to like it, I was would be reporting on the story, and there'd be a photographer going with me, running the camera, and I just hated it if one of them came in late and then we got to our story late, and then I'm the one having to be on the phone saying we're running a little behind. I'm so sorry. Like it. It physically, like it, I feel like it makes my heart start beating fast if I'm, if I am being late, and especially one of those situations where you know someone's going to this spot to meet you there, and then you show up late. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> it, this made me think about that when I read it. So it's good to be early. Yeah, uh, Don says, do you think you'll be going to any local wineries this spring? Yeah. Um, Southern Illinois has a bunch of wonderful wineries. If you thought, what does Southern Illinois have? You know, I know Chicago's in Illinois, but what about Southern Illinois? We have a lot of wineries down here. So, um, I love, uh, Russell Hill. I love Blue Sky. And I also haven't been there too often, but the last time my friend uh, Katie visited, we went to Owl Creek, and that was really nice too. And you can come down here if you're visiting Southern Illinois. You could like get some sort of little party bus. Hey, Don, let's. What do you say we get a party bus? Because these are like windy, like wine trails, and nobody wants to be, you know, drinking and driving out there. But we get a party bus together and maybe we get a few other like makeup loving people from around here or from far away if they want to and then we get on and go uh, have fun that would be fun 
Don't you plan on having kids? Yes. Thanks for asking. Yeah, Dawn's, Dawn's in. Okay. Awesome. I met Dawn at a Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> And she, she's one of the few, like, people who live in my area who I think really, really enjoys makeup <laughs> and um, came up to me, and we just talked makeup, and it was so fun. Um, the mascara I'm wearing, it's L'Oreal Telescopic. I forgot I had this. It's this one. Um, but I am also wearing... Uh, eyelashes as well so but this this too is very lengthening really nice actually oh my gosh thank you fun tabulous <laughs> that fun tabulous is an awesome word I kind of want to make that the hashtag of the week fun tabulous <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that would be really cool if we had could get some people from, you know, Southern Illinois and get them together, get on the wine trail bus. But it's, it's really great down here. I mean, you go to these really great little winery things and, um, you know, at Blue Sky, for example, winery, there's a gorgeous landscape, you know, to look at. It's very calming. You know, you can be outside, you can be inside. Um, great wine. Have some food, you know, walk around. It's fun. Contacts? Uh, yes, I am wearing contacts. And I also have glasses, too. What is a good colored eyeliner for the waterline? Um, you know what line has really nice colored eyeliners? Uh-oh. Small thing broke down here. Um, the NYX. The NYX kinds. The slide-on liners. The rainbow. It's, I mean, it's anything you could want. Excuse me, I burped. Um, like this one, Purple Blaze. Like, so many awesome colors. And they go on very easily. They're long wearing. Should I keep going? <laughs> I would I would say look into those because they're also very affordable. And if you're looking for a fun color that you might not wear all the time, so you don't want to spend a ton of money on just that one. Hashtag fun tabulous. <laughs> fun tabulous. What an awesome word. Like I will I will start saying that in just everyday talk. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite dessert? Mmm. Gosh, I love my mom's apple pie or any kind of pie she makes because she makes the best pie crust. And she's got a video on it. Um, but I also love, like, any kind of ice cream type dessert. Um, uh, like, I've had this great ice cream dessert where it's, like, crushed up Oreos make a crust about that thick. I love any kind of graham cracker or like cookie crust. I swear the bottom crust is like that thick, okay? And then I'm pretty sure they drizzled on like chocolate sauce and then they put about this much of a layer of ice cream, like the mint ice cream, and then like crumbled up cookies on top. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so good. So good. Uh-oh, baby's awake. Go get them. <laughs> Bye, Kayla. Have you read Joel Osteen's Every Day of Friday? No, should I? Because I like Joel Osteen. Yes, I also like Joyce Meyer. My mom loves Joyce Meyer. I got my mom, like, two Joyce Meyer books for Christmas. Are you getting anything from the Sephora sale? Um, is there a really good sale going on right now? You probably shouldn't have mentioned that to me. <laughs> I, I need no more makeup. No more makeup. I probably won't. <laughs> I'm going to just try to steer clear of that. 
do you ever wear eyelashes with glasses? Not too often, because um, sometimes the eyelashes will hit the glasses, right? So um, I just kind of go without the lashes. But there are plenty of shorter lashes you could wear. Oh, fantabulous. I am so happy you read my message. I'm from the other side of the world, Greece, and I adore your videos. You're my favorite. Oh my gosh! Thank you! Thank you so much, Funtabulous. Do people ever call you Funtabulous in person? <laughs> people still talk about the wine bus. <laughs> oh. oh, I hope you feel better. Yeah, Chris, um, you, I know what you mean about liners being hard and hard to apply. And who wants to press hard right in there, right? Or anywhere on their eye. Great nude product for the waterline. I'm glad you asked. Um, okay. I love Tarte Emphasize. This is great. I feel like this is really long wearing, retractable. Um, but if you would rather get something from the drugstore, you'd have to sharpen it, but it's not that big a deal, right? And it's the Rimmel Scandalize in Nude. Same basic thing, very similar staying power. Um, this one's a little bit lighter, but this one still makes your, it, it's still very brightening as compared to just going as is, you know. On my waterline right now, I actually have black eyeliner, but I mean, if you want to brighten it up, I'm always bouncing back and forth between these two. And it, this scandalized is very creamy. And yeah, those two are great. Um, I also have the NYX wonder pencil but I've been using that a little bit more as like a, you can use it brightening anywhere I've been using this more as like brightening elsewhere on the face not really in the waterline because you kinda of think about it like okay you wanna be using this to cover a zit and then go in your waterline of your eye like you know you wanna sanitize it first before you do that um, but I've been using it more as like just highlighting really small areas around the face you know so, but that's that's another option. If you can't find those other two, um, this could go in the waterline and brighten it up as well. So, um, your mom has a channel. No, <laughs> I've told her she needs a channel, but she's just not quite that into technology at this point. Um, but she will appear in videos every so often on my vlog channel. And actually, she's going to be doing some makeup reviews on my main channel, too. But she was on this beauty vlogcast channel where you're watching this live show. Um, she did a how she makes her pie video. <laughs> and it was really good. Where's Cupcake? Where is she? Uh, no, I've gotten PJ Bottoms. Got some jeggings on here. Uh, shall I try to find her real quick? She always has to make a weekly appearance, right? So I'll be right back. There's the little sweet pea. Did you miss me when I was gone? <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, ah! ah! <laughs> she has a, I swear, a little like internal clock that says, Stop bullying me! after a certain amount of time. But then she'll, in the evening, she'll lay on my lap for like hours. So, got cat hair on me now. So, oh man, I think there's a delay on these comments. <laughs> and I'm not just now figuring that out. 
Gosh, what else? What else should we talk about? It's 10.09. I had something else I wanted to... Dear, this thing. <laughs> this is um, from the Soho brand sold at Walgreens. And I like this. I, um, before, had a generic beauty blender from Ulta and I just didn't like it. I felt like it was really hard. Even when it absorbed some water, I just didn't like the way it went on. This one's so soft. You can use it to blend in your foundation. I used it some with my Eve Pearl kit because, and this was shown in the haul, because she, when she was doing a demonstration, she would like apply, let's say the foundation. She was applying the foundation with a brush like this, getting it on there, and then going over it with a damp sponge. She was just using like a wedge, but you know, any kind of makeup sponge and really giving it a very like natural appearance on the skin. So she does two shades of foundation. And this is the reverse contouring thing that I was alluding to in the other video I did. Um, and I want to do a tutorial just showing how that works. But basically, in she would go, um, let me find, where's, where's the directions? Oh, gosh, no, don't tell me I lost the instructions. Um, where is that? Gosh, I had a great little sheet, and it said exactly why and how. Sorry. <laughs> I can't find it. Oh, man. I hope I didn't throw that away. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, she, basically the idea is that on top of your cheeks and on your forehead and on your chin, you're using the darker shade. So, like, going in right in here... This is a deeper, and I didn't use this just now today because I used that BB cream, but right in here you're using your deeper shade. And that is having a contouring effect. You're using your lighter shade here and lighter shade around the eyes and around the lips, she said, and I think on the nose. Um, but So it's, it's an interesting, different take on it, and you actually do look... Like, it has kind of a, a strangely a face-slimming sort of effect. So it's different um, than a lot of theories you might have on foundation. So there's that. These are the salmon concealers. It's two shades, a lighter and a darker. Blush. Uh, this is a mattifier. I'm not so convinced by this. Um, and then this is a cream highlight. So I'm going to keep using it and, and do a review and do a, a review tutorial, as we like to say. Where is Tyler? Is he shy or not at home? He's not at home. He's at work. Um, I'm sorry. I've still got, like, cat hair on my face. I'm still wondering. Oh, here it is. Oh, thank goodness. It came with a great little instruction thing. And she'll tell you, you know, it says Eve's tips on what to apply certain things with, but this is what really made me think I want to try this is, A, I saw it completely demoed, so I was impressed with the result, and I also liked how Eve, um, when she was at the IMATS, um, she was doing tutorials on real women who were just there at IMATS not um, a model she brought with her or somebody with perfect skin. Like she was doing people with acne. She was doing people with, you know, dark circles and various concerns that, you know, just were there. And so I thought that, you know, I had a lot of respect for that. And then when she was using the product, she was mentioning how the foundation and the concealers and the blush are all... Um, like the same consistency, the same formula. And so she says the blush has coverage in it. And you know what? It does. When you layer that cream blush over this stuff, you feel almost more perfected and brightened up. And like it doesn't take away from these other things. And I still, um, I use my stipple brush this little stipple brush with that blush. She, I think she may have even used a sponge to put that blush on. 
on someone. But cool. I'm very. I was very intrigued by that. I got that like half half off, if not more. So I haven't used the velour eyelashes yet. So I'll let you know. There's a city truck out roaming around. Oh, the trees are in bloom here. We have a tree out front and out back that bloom pretty white blossoms. Oh, it's so pretty. I love getting to look out the window and see that because it's a really gloomy day, but you can you can tell everything's starting to bloom. Oop. Yeah, I took a picture with Eve Pearl. <laughs> um, it was awesome. I did not get to see Mally. That was too bad. Oh, Tyler's an attorney. Um, he, every so often, he's in court. <laughs> um, but he didn't have court today. But just, you know, meeting with clients, doing things. I should have him vlog about, because I've, I've heard from a lot of girls who are going through law school and wanting advice on that kind of thing, and I think he could he could do that. Would you show us your bunion? Oh! <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, you may not even think a thing of it. Can I draw it for you? Because I don't really want to get my foot up there. Bunions are not really necessarily that easily distinguished, but there's one toe. Two, three, four, and the baby toe. Okay. All right. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Um, Okay. Here's a foot, right? <laughs> Not a good foot, but a foot. This area, this is the large toe, and some people might be just flat right there, okay? This is a non-bunion foot. My foot with the bunion, and it's it's not like a it's not like a corn or a um blister or anything like that. It's actually your like a, a change in the way your bone structure is. So my foot goes out just a little bit there. You might look at your own foot and see somewhat of the same thing. Not even that much. Just a little bit. Like it just curves outward. So you're a little bit wider it, across your toes and sorry it's not a gross thing. <laughs> I mean, but it, 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 it looks like just your foot. It's just your bone, you know? Yeah. It's nothing that, nothing that weird. <laughs> but if you're in uncomfortable shoes for a long time, standing all day, you're going to feel that bunion. That bunion's going to be practically screaming at you. It's going to say, take off these shoes. <laughs> but I can't. I can't take off my shoes. And then, you know. It just reminds you it's there. You can get bunions from, like, wearing too tight of shoes. My left foot is a little bit smaller than my right foot. So it's important for me to find shoes that more so fit the right foot than the left. Because if you're trying to cram into a shoe that's too small, you can, you know have that issue. So I don't know why I am my bunion, but I have it. There's surgery for it. It really doesn't bother me most of the time, but most of the time I'm not walking around st or, you know, standing all day. So maybe party bunion. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you everyone for sitting through that. <laughs> I'm at Storato. I really hadn't thought about it. I knew I was going to IMATS New York, and that was like my IMATS, but when is the Toronto one? I can look it up, actually. You don't have to do that. And on the back of this card, it says eyeliner dupes. I wanted to remind myself to do eyeliner dupes. Well, now that I've told you a little bit about my personal life... <laughs> okay, well... That's weird, Miss Kylie Morgan says, bunions are mostly genetic, but my mom and dad don't have them. My dad might have a little bit. I don't know. 
Can you do it? I love spring tag. I yeah, I need to do one. I've been tagged a few times and I want to do it. I want to do it. Okay. Thank you, Risha. Risha has bunions too. See? Lots of people have them. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> oh my gosh. But that was one of the things like I was, you know, just talking to people I met, um, you know, at IMATS, like, I talked about the bunion, um, anyone approached you and chipmunked with you at IMATS, yes, we chipmunked, um, but, like, also, like, thinking of just, like, awkward things that happened, like, I had a mint in my mouth at one point, and the mint, like, fell out of my mouth and, like, fell down, like, I thought it went, like, down my shirt, <laughs> like, there were so, so many, like, just funny little things, awkward <laughs> things that happened, I wish I could make a sequence of all those, those things, but I don't think the camera was always rolling. <laughs> Ingrown toenails, Tyler, Tyler gets those sometimes. I have a B, Brianna has ugly pinky toes. We're just all sharing about our feet right now. It's all good. There's this is a no judgment zone. Um, that's that's good. Um, Liddy Lou has had bunions all her life, but they don't bother her very much. Yeah. What was that? Was it fun? Fun tabulous? Fun or fun? Fantastic. Yes, Color Lovers is coming. Oh, Siba ZZPC says, why am I here? And then this kind of a face. Well, you're here. I don't know why you're here. <laughs> We're talking about bunions and makeup, so, and sometimes wine. <laughs> uh Oh my gosh, I'm trying to scroll down and see the comments. Funtabulous. Hashtag Funtabulous. That's going to be the hashtag of the week. We're not going to talk about bunions in the hashtag. <laughs> Funtabulous. Hashtag of the week. <laughs> Oh, I'm at Toronto November. Oh, it's in November. Cool. It's a fall I'm at. I made your award-winning egg salad for lunch. So good. Thanks for sharing. Yay, Sydney. Egg salad, egg salad, egg salad, egg salad. What, what, what? Oh, my gosh. Rebecca has bunions on each foot. Okay. I don't feel alone anymore. I officially don't feel alone. All topics are possible here, exactly. <laughs> Tips for starting a channel. Um, well, um, I've always told people I think it's good to start a channel with a video just telling a little bit about yourself. Um, think about how you would logically like go to a channel. Maybe you find a random video from someone and you really like that video and so then you say oh I like this person I want to go see what else is on their channel um, but I kind of want to know like why they're here what they're doing here you know who who are they why are they interested in makeup so I'm maybe gonna go down to the first you know earlier videos and it would be great to be able to see as like the first video kind of a, and it's sort of what YouTube is prompting people to do with these channel trailers but especially if you're just starting a channel I think have something where you just let people know a little bit about yourself because I think it's a very logical thing when you start watching a person you enjoy the way they're presenting the information you like what they have to say but you kinda wonder like um, you know what's your story so I think maybe talk a little bit about your story first um, maybe have kind of a to-do list of videos have a continuously running list of kinds of videos you want to make always have a list of things people are asking you to make um, have a Twitter account have a Facebook account so you can be sharing your videos 
Um, get on Pinterest because Pinterest is a great way to share stuff and get it spread very quickly. Um, gosh, and just enjoy yourself. If it is not fun for you, then maybe it's not for you. Um, try blogging, you know. If you don't like the, the process of making videos, editing, that's not necessarily something everybody likes to do, but maybe blogging is something you'd enjoy more. So just don't be, you know, this is for a lot of people a, kind of a spare time kind of hobby type thing. So make it something that, you know, is fun for you, that relieves your stress, that makes you happy. Don't don't get feel like you're pinned into something like oh I got to make another video that people want to see of it you know <laughs> you do it because it's it's exciting and, and interesting for you I think um, yes soy burgers and edamame on those 500 calorie days thank you Taylor I like um, I've had you know the Boca burgers or the Morning Star stuff it's very good. Speaking of, what is your favorite wine? Um, I am, I'm not like an educated wine drinker, um, but I usually like uh, Riesling. Um, so that's like a, a white wine. You know, I don't like them too sweet and I don't like them too dry either. Um, what else? Um, like I, I could say some specific kinds maybe, but I'm not sure that they would even be available because they're, you know, we have a lot of regional wineries here. So, um, but I like, you know, I'll try anything, <laughs> but if it's too, if it's too, too dry, it kind of turns me off. And if it's really, really sweet, I feel like I can only take like a few sips and then I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Good morning, Utah. Hi, Candace. How old is Cupcake? She will turn three in June. Can you believe it? She's getting big. She's got like long tail, long legs. I see people with weird tan lines from wearing concealer during the summer months. How do you keep that from happening? Do you not wear concealer at all? Tinted moisturizer only? Interesting. They're, get, they're getting a tan line like they're not tanning where they have concealer. Well, certain concealers do have SPF in them, so, I mean, you may just want to try to have even SPF, like, it, you know, you're going to wear sunscreen, wear, like, the same sunscreen all over your face, and I wouldn't, if I were going to be out in the sun a lot, um, I might go kind of light on the concealer and just go with, like, a good solid SPF 30, maybe, all over my face. Or use a con pair that with a concealer that does not give me any extra, so that way it's just kind of even. I'm not sure because I don't know if I've encountered, you know, that same thing of people not tanning where their concealer was. But that's interesting. What cuisine do you like the most? What cuisine? Um, like what? What kind of cuisine? Like. Italian, Mexican, or I love Mexican food. Uh, love nachos, love tacos, enchiladas. <laughs> Have we done more food talk on this diet day for me? <laughs> it's 1028. Oh my gosh. Oh, someone. Paul Bunyan? <laughs> oh. Uh, what is your favorite date night with Tyler? Honestly, um, Friday nights are usually our night where we go out and we just, you know, go out to eat somewhere. Sometimes it's, you know, it doesn't have to be anywhere real special, but just like Buffalo Wild Wings or Chili's or something like that. Um, have a good meal. Have a beer. You know, enjoy life. I'm happy with that. Like. I think as I think when you're younger like in your dating years it's like maybe you have a higher expectation of 
the, you know, oh, this date has to be so special, and first we have to go to dinner, and then we have to go to a movie, and then, you know, like, all these things need to happen romantically, you know, and then I think you grow up and you're just kind of like, I just want some time where, you know, I can let everything off my mind and just enjoy the person I'm with and just have quality time, whether that's laying on the couch, you know, just hanging out, or whether it's, you know, going out to eat or something like that, like, you know what I mean? I kind of feel like, you know, it's it's more about the time spent than exactly the activity you're doing, you know? So, uh, Wild Cherry Moon, I found you with the bumpets. So many people found me from the bumpets stuff. <laughs> I had no idea back ages ago when I did those bumpet videos that so many people would watch those, but, ooh, Moscato, yeah. Can you do a beauty things I suck at tag? Yeah, I could do that. Because, let's face it, I've got things that I'm not so good at. <laughs> or at least the things that challenge me or take me a long time. Oh, now we're back to the wine chat. See, I think it's on a delay. <laughs> I love white Zinfandel. Yeah. Um, Starbucks, I don't drink a lot of Starbucks. Um I mean I I think what they what they serve is great. I just don't end up going there very much, but I like the the pumpkin spice. <laughs> thing that comes around in the fall. Um, but I don't even I don't even go there enough to like have a standard thing. I don't think I even truly understand the um the ordering process. <laughs> like I mean there's not really there's not a Starbucks like right here in, in this town where I live and I just don't seek it out. I just make the coffee myself and I do sometimes have the Starbucks K cups and I like the blonde um the blonde coffee. It's the light, kind of lighter roast, I guess, but I think that's really good, and I just make that in my Keurig coffee maker, so. Yes, uh, Francie says, do you like red wine? Um, I like, I feel like I just go toward the lighter stuff more, but I like, um, there's a kind that's made here locally at the Blue Sky Vineyard I was talking about. It's called Rocky Comfort Red, and it's very good. Um, yeah, I like, try to support the local wineries. Um, yay. I feel like I'm getting ready with you while getting ready for work. Yay! Yay! Gosh, so it's hashtag fun tabulous this week. So if you tweet, feel free to add that on. Um, oh, oh, Risha says, I think my baby is going to be born and be familiar with your voice because I'm pregnant and watch your videos all the time. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to introduce us, you know, once the baby is born. This is Emily. <laughs> Can I be Auntie M? <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, there goes my sponge. So, what do you think about the lighting here? I've got my special light on. Um, it seems pretty bright in here, I think, because it's very dim outside. Whoop, whoop. Awesome. Yes, we may be having more pets. <laughs> uh, we're thinking about it. Hi, Ohio! I've not tried the new NARS concealer, so I'm sorry. I can't say. Hashtag we have bunions. Yay. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm getting caught up on all. Uh, my favorite beer would be Bud Light. 
Yep. I don't like the I don't like the dark stuff. I can't I can't quite handle that. I'm not a you know <laughs> like a real connoisseur or, or, or anything, but I can't do the dark stuff. Cool! Yay! Look, um, yeah, the blinds are open. Yeah, it's just kind of a dark and drizzly and dreary day. So, um, what am I going to do after this? I'm going to um, go finish up the vlog and um, get my. We we shot a little tail end thing on onto that, so I need to attach that. And I'm going to get it uploaded. It's probably going to be uploaded a little bit later this afternoon. And it will be all about IMATS. I tried to pack in all the pictures for, that anybody tweeted or Facebook to me that we took together and just mix in some video clips here and there. I hope it's interesting. I really am posting this like, you know, kind of like, okay, this is what it was like. This is what we did. But also, like, this is my thank you to you. And I think it's just precious to be able to have... Um, the memories, you know, from the weekend, like caught on camera somewhere where it's, you know, permanent, so to speak, you know, and um, like we can, I can go back to that and just enjoy those memories because it was very, very special to get to Mug of the Week, Waffle House. <laughs> it was very special to get to spend time and talk to to those of you who were at IMATS. I know a lot of people would have liked to have been at IMATS, but, you know, couldn't make it for one reason or another. And um, I, I hope to set up meetups, you know, because there's no, there's no IMATS, like, right here in the middle of the country, you know. And so I want to do, like, a meetup in St. Louis or a meetup in Chicago and something like that because it was really, really nice to just get to, you know, I felt like I I built some some friendships with you all, and it was really really special. Um, does Tyler get frustrated if you if you tape a lot? No. <laughs> um, no. I mean, I I think that most of the time I am shooting videos when he's not even here. Even beforehand, like when I was doing the news, and I would shoot videos like in the afternoon after I got off work, he would even be here so it's kind of like you, you know it, it happens and he doesn't even know it's happening but I really don't think it would it bothers him if I'm shooting something on the weekends and I mean to be honest I I don't spend a ton of time shooting like when you see when you see a 10 minute video I might have been shooting for between 15 and 18, 20 minutes, you know, so it doesn't take me that long, but I always talk more than I mean to, <laughs> says the girl who's been going live for now an hour and a half plus, <laughs> but, um, Minneapolis in the summer, this, this actually might be happening, Chris, so stay tuned. Mad Men Makeup, Betty Draper, and Joan. Oh, my God, Joan. How fun would that be? Joan is so glam. I'd have to get myself all joned up all over, though. <laughs> you know? Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Thank you so much to everybody who tuned in. It's hashtag funtabulous. Um, thank you for the Bunyan support. Thank you for um, chit-chatting with me and asking questions and having fun. Um, we do this every week, so come back next week, 9 a.m. Central Time, and there will be more fun and chat and good times. So, yay! Yeah, can you do a video of your mom cutting your hair? It's it's not very exciting, but sure. <laughs> it, maybe she'll give me, I don't know, maybe I should ask for something more drastic next time she cuts my hair. Oh. Yay, yay, yay. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. I hope you have a great week. It's almost Friday, so everybody who's working for the weekend, it's almost here. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.